my hair to I don't know what color this is honestly. It's kind of like ash gray and purple and a little bit of pink or brown. I don't know what it is. So everything that you're about to see are from the Great Garage Singapore Seal. I mean the Great Singapore Garage Seal which is organized by the Goodman's Art Center. They have it every month and I believe it's their eighth edition so far. And you can expect to find many pre-loved clothing items there at an average price of $5 each. I'm serious, everything I've gotten there are like $5. There's only one piece that costs $7 but still really really reasonable pricing. So if you're looking for a cheap alternative place to shop at, you should definitely come here to check it out. And without further ado, let's go into the haul. And do stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be featuring a lookbook of all the clothing items that I've gotten. See you in a bit! The thing that I've gotten is this beautiful floral scarf which is originally from Esprit but I got this for only 5 bucks and you know how expensive Esprit stuff was? So this is definitely a steal. I really love this scarf because there's like floral patterns and I really love the color scheme of this scarf. It seems like the perfect piece to own. The next item which is following my colour scheme for today is this kimono from originally from Topshop and again I got this for only $5 which is really really a steal It has like feather patterns all over it I remember seeing this like a few years back It's kind of outdated but I still really love it Moreover, earthy tones are like in this season so technically it's still in there's one thing I must say about this kimono is that it's kind of stained So um, I, I don't think I'm able to remove it but I just have to bear with it It's still a really nice piece Next is my houndstooth printed skirt It fits me as a midi skirt I guess because of my height And I also got the waistband off that because it was too loose on me at first And now together it's a bit weird because it's got stitched together You see what I mean? But it's still a really nice piece which I only got for $5 Moving on, I found this blue sweater Which is perfect for rainy seasons There is no tag on this sweater which, was supposed, which is supposed to tell you which is the front and back So I'm guessing the v-neck side should be for the front Yeah, just a essential piece for the rainy days So this next dress is khaki green maxi dress which is made of chiffon so it's very flowy as you can tell and what's so cool about this dress is that there's buttons going down and the button serves as a slit so the more buttons you are button that means the slit is higher and it shows more legs which is really cool I've never seen this kind of dresses before and also the top is has buttons so it's adjustable you can Switch it up to a crisscross strap or normal two straps, whichever way you like it. But personally, I, I made it into a crisscross because the two straps are a little bit too loose on me. So, yeah, it is a really nice dress which I only got it for $5. And this next piece is probably a more questionable piece. I would say people in my country wouldn't wear this. I'll probably get judged wearing this in public, but whatever. Is this trench dress in emerald green? It looks really nice, like it gives me cake with the vibes. And there's like a strap behind so that you can adjust the waistband, looser or tighter. And there's like buttons all the way down. Actually, it was much longer, so I went to alter it. It was like down to my face, which is which looks really overwhelming on me. Yeah, it's a really cool piece and I would definitely like try and style this piece in country. Last but not least, I have one more item but I can't seem to find it. It's probably somewhere in my wardrobe or in my laundry basket. So, I will post a picture here to show you. And yeah, it's a, a black slip maxi dress which I only got for about $5. And it's actually really like loose and baggy on me But just wear my bra inside Everything will be exposed to me So I have to wear something underneath it Whether it's a t-shirt or whatever How I like to style it is a red lace blouse underneath it It looks really like 90s grunge vibes um, 
or you can just pair it with a basic tee underneath which is like really trending right now everybody's wearing those kind of slick dresses with t-shirts underneath it I wasn't digging that trend at all Let's go into the lookbook. So for my first outfit, I styled it around my thrifted Esprit scarf. I decided to go for something more minimalistic as the floral prints on the scarf are quite loud. Hence, I wore an all black ensemble to match it. My top is from Easy Buy, Clot from Uniqlo and heels are from the Editor's Market. This outfit makes me so excited about my upcoming London trip. I'll probably wear this when I'm there. Going with the monochrome look, I paired a black turtleneck and black boots with my houndstooth printed skirt. I added a statement vintage belt to complete the look. My top is from New Look, boots from Zara and my belt is from Easy Buy. This outfit is so inspired by the 40s fashion. I decided to wear the trench dress by itself and paired it with a pair of Oxfords which I got them from China. Usually kimonos are thrown over a pair of jeans and top for a casual look. I decided to dress it up and keep the outfit to the nude colour scheme. My dress is from Forever 21, my choker is recycled from my prom dress belt and my heels are from the editor's market. The dress is a very basic piece so I decided to dress it up by pairing it with my burgundy lace top, giving it a 90s grunge vibe which brings out the dark side of me. My top is from Bushka and boots are from Zara. I gave a vintage twist to the sweater by pairing it with white leg jeans and oxfords. I also wore my white lace bralette which is picking out from the sweater to give a feminine touch to the outfit. My jeans are from Easy Buy, Oxfords from China, and Bralette from Cotton On. Obviously, my boho face never went away. As soon as I saw the flowy chiffon fabric, I knew I had to style the dress boho chic. I paired it with some gladiators and a flower crown to complete the look. My gladiators are from Aldo, and I forgot where my flower crown is from. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did filming it. And if you like it, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to me if you enjoy this type of videos. Also comment down below what is your favourite outfit and follow me on my social media links which will be linked down below. And I hope to see you very soon in my next video. Bye!